Hey guys, it's me here again, and here bringing you another review. This time, of Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead. Um, as I just said, it's a film by Sam Raimi. He also wrote it. Um, it stars Bruce Campbell, Alan Sandweiss. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's also produced by Robert Tabert and even Bruce Campbell. Um, it's about a group of kids who go up to a remote cabin in the woods, and while there, they end up unleashing something evil in the woods. That's the basic plot. And the first thing I want to say about this, this is my all-time favorite movie. Not just horror movies, it's my all-time favorite movie. I absolutely love The Evil Dead. I'm a super, super hardcore fan of The Evil Dead. And I thought since I'm doing this review, I'd also take time to discuss my thoughts on the remake. I've actually been looking forward to the remake ever since it was confirmed. I know they talked about it back in 2007, but that was before I got into The Evil Dead. But I remember in 2011 they confirmed that this movie was happening, and I was really, really excited and looking forward to it. Um, even when I heard that there would be no Ash, I actually thought that was a good idea to have no Ash. And especially since the original film, Ash wasn't exactly the main character. He was only the main character in the sense that he survived. And I think Fide Alvarez, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, I think Robert Tabert was involved in the remake. They, I have I have faith in all of them, and I know they're doing the best they can to make this movie. I can guarantee Fide Alvarez is putting his heart and soul into making this movie, because he himself is a huge Evil Dead fan. And from reading the script and watching all the trailers and interviews and stuff, I can definitely tell he's really ha excited about this, he's doing his best, and he's very talented as a director, after seeing the trailers, I mean, he's just, he really knows how to shoot a horror movie after seeing the trailers, and I am so excited for the movie, and I can't wait, it's the movie I'm looking forward to most this year, and I have a feeling it's just going to be fucking awesome, that, that's just kind of my thoughts on it, um, because like I said, I've been looking forward to the movie since I first heard about it. And I've been optimistic the whole time because I haven't once had any doubt. But anyways, on with the original movie. Now, this movie really showcases what a good director Sam Raimi is. I mean, he's just such a phenomenal director. I mean, all the different angles and shots and the way he shoots things and just how the film looks itself. It's just absolutely beautiful looking. Um, even for a low budget, I mean the movie for a low budget, it has a really low budget, yet it looks like it was shot at, shot by professionals, not people who are just starting out being filmmakers, I mean, it just looks so professionally shot and so professionally, like, done, and I just can't praise it enough, I mean, this movie is just a masterpiece of horror, not just a horror masterpiece, a masterpiece is the movie, um, the acting is all good, especially from Bruce Campbell. Absolutely love Bruce Campbell. He's one of my all-time favorite actors. He's good in anything he does. Um, and unlike the sequels, I like Evil Dead 2 and I like Army of Darkness. But my favorite Evil Dead film is the first one. Um, one thing I love about Evil Dead 2 is Ash gets his chainsaw and stuff like that. But this is my favorite of all the movies. It's the most serious. It's the most dark out of all the movies. It's also the most brutal. I mean, this movie is one of the most brutal horror debut debuts of all time. And it's not just brutal. It's original. I mean, this movie was so original and so brutal when it came out. Even Stephen King loved it and commented on that. I mean, it's... I'm sorry I'm repeating so much. It's just such a brutal and original horror movie. And Sam Raimi has such a unique style to his movies that you can automatically tell him it's a Sam Raimi movie. And that's one thing I can definitely compliment him on. Um, the makeup and effects are good, in my opinion. You gotta keep in mind it's a low-budget movie. It's older. To me, the effects still hold up. I know there are lots of people, the effects may be kind of cabbing up for the time and budget. These are really well-done effects, and they have kind of a, like a level of polish to them that shows you how talented everyone involved in this movie was. Um, it's definitely very gory, so I don't know how you'd feel about watching it. Um, you're not big on gore. It's definitely not as gory as the new one's going to be, but it's definitely a very gory movie. It's 
even now it comes off as really gory. But it's it's not gory just to be gory. It's gory to be brutal and to shock and terrify you. I mean, someone that watches this movie probably could alone be terrified and shocked just by the level of gore. But like I said, not gory just to be gory, and the kills in this are great. And like I said, great effects considering the time and budget. It has some really cool claymation in there. Um, and the effects in here beat CGI any day. And that's another thing about the remake, um, is the remake, the day Alvarez at the beginning told us he's going as much practical as he can, like even 100% practical. And it actually has been confirmed that everything in the movie is practical. Um, he said 95% practical, the rest are After Effects, and After Effects aren't CGI, so that means no CGI whatsoever. And judging by the trailers and photos, it's definitely no CGI. I know for the fire, he like, filmed the person, then filmed the fire and layered them together. So that's probably why it might be a little funky, but it's not CGI, and it looks a whole hell of a lot better than CGI. And this movie's but just looking so awesome. After reading the script, I actually even like the script better than this film. And I, that's coming from a hardcore Evil Dead fan. And I'm sorry I'm getting off topic here. I just really want to be able to talk about in depth about this and also talk about the remake. But like I said, he's got this promise of no CGI. And the effects look phenomenal. In the trailers, they look very real. Not too over the top. This is some of the best looking gore effects I've seen in any movie. And this movie's going to have some awesome, awesome kills from reading the script. And I'm just so excited for it. I can't wait for April. I'm going to see it on day one it comes out. I wish I could do a midnight showing, but probably won't be able to. So when that movie comes out, I'll definitely have a review up as soon as possible. And it will be as in-depth as I can. But, anyways, I think there was something else I wanted to say about the remake. But, like in my chance on last for a video can't remember and I'm probably running out of time here. This might end up being two parts just so I can talk about the Blu-ray in depth enough. Um, and yeah, there was something else I wanted to say. Sorry that I keep on coming back to that but I'm trying to think on what it was. Also, also another thing with, with the remake, um, the acting actually looks pretty good. I'm not sure what else what I want to say. I think it was something to do with the effects. Um, like I was saying, the effects are all 100% practical, just like he promised. No CGI, which is a good thing. And I think I know what I was going to say. The effects of the old movie may be cheesy by some people's standards, but they beat CGI any day. Sorry that it took so long to get to that. I had a hard time remembering what I wanted to say. And I was now into the Blu ray, and if I don't finish saying what I want to say about the Blu-ray in the time I have because I'm not partners with YouTube so I can only get up to 10 minutes. Um, so if I don't finish what I want to say by then I'll have a second part and I'm sorry for that that I went rambling off here but anyways. Um, this case, the cover art here is kind of unique to um, lit to the Blu-ray here. Um, I know the Ultimate Edition DVD has like the po movie poster as the cover art, um, the standard DVD that I got out of the five dollar Walmart section, um, it has artwork similar to this but a little different. The closest you get to the artwork on this is on the side of that, but even that's a little different. So this is unique to this, and of course the Book of the Dead editions have different art. Here's the back, again unique to the Blu-ray. I'll show you the inside. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get this with it, but it had, it had a limited time offer that you get a bonus DVD, um, which is loaded with features. It's really cool. I wish it would have been a Blu-ray, but that still works. And then here we have the DVD, the Blu-ray cover art. I'm trying to get that in there the best I can. Um, sorry about that. There. I, I like the cover art because it's like real simple and I like that look to it. Um, anyways, I'm going to cut the video off here. I'm sorry that it's going to be in two parts, but anyways, until the next part, bye.